All right, so look at this one. Problem number 31. Shh, up, up here, pay attention, guys. Problem number 31 says that a stone is thrown horizontally from the top of a tower. At the same instant, the ball is dropped vertically. Which object is traveling faster when it hits the ground? Now, does it say, does it say faster in the y direction, x direction, or just faster? Faster. Faster. Now, before we do that, what I want you guys to think about, okay, is I've got this tower. Right, and I've got this guy up here, and he throws the stone. It has a velocity in the x direction, and at the moment that the stone is thrown, what is the velocity in the y direction? Zero. Now, if you take, and there's another guy standing right behind him, and he takes a ball, and he drops it, the x direction will always equal zero because he didn't throw it in the horizontal position. But also, the velocity in the y direction is also going to equal zero. So that's right at the beginning when they both release them. Now, what acts on both the ball and the stone? Gravity. Gravity. So both of them will have a constant acceleration in the negative direction of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So think in just terms of the y direction. Well, about midway through, this will still maintain. Uh, does the velocity in the x direction of the stone change at all? No. no. So the magnitude of the x component, or the horizontal component of the projectile, doesn't change, but because of the acceleration, now I have a velocity in the y direction. Now, I don't know what number it is, but the length of that arrow or that vector represents the magnitude of that. Now, if I drop this ball, the orange ball, it goes straight down. Now, what changes the velocity for that ball? acceleration, but it should, in theory, be the exact same magnitude, right? Because they're both started at zero, okay? And the only thing that changes the y direction is the acceleration. And so that since they're both accelerating at 9.8 meters per second, then their velocity should be exactly the same at this point in time, right? Okay. Now let's fast forward to right before it hits the ground. Right before this thing hits the ground is going to be its maximum velocity in the y direction. However, here v sub x is equal to zero. Here v sub x is equal to zero. Now the stone continues on its free fall path it has the same velocity in the y direction as the ball, but it's maintained its x velocity. What is the resultant velocity? Well, the resultant velocity is the square of these two. In other words, the resultant vector. So this is the overall velocity of the stone. And we could calculate that velocity by saying v sub x squared plus v sub y squared and then take the square root of the whole thing. Now, this is a right angle triangle, isn't it? The hypotenuse is the shortest, longest, or the middle length. Longest length always. So the overall velocity is the hypotenuse, which means it'll have the greatest magnitude. So is the magnitude of this greater than Vy? Okay. Well, what's, what's the total magnitude here? Well, since x equals 0, my, my velocity for my ball is really 
right? Because my V sub X is just zero. So I would write down V sub X, but since it's zero, it goes away and I'm really left with the square root of Y squared. So when we talk about how we answer this question, we have to really look at the, 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 the overall, well, we gotta really look at the wording of the question. They have the same velocity in the Y direction, right? Because the order, the magnitude of their Y components are exactly the same. But since I'm getting rid of the V sub X, we know that this one's a little bit bigger, right? By the way, what is the square root of VY squared? VY. VY. So my velocity of this, the total velocity, is VY, and that makes sense, right, from a practical perspective, because it's not moving in the X direction. But this one is VY squared plus whatever we have in the X direction, so this would be more. So the overall velocity V would be greater for the stone, right? So this would be greater for the stone. So if we go back and we look at that question, problem number 31, it says the stone is thrown horizontally from the top of the tower. At the same instant, a ball is dropped vertically. Which object is traveling faster when it hits the ground? Well, what are they talking about? The x, the y components, or the total vector? The total velocity vector. And we just saw that that was a. Does that make sense? You're welcome.